A Philadelphia man's childhood was marred by abuse and the tragic loss of his younger sister. The case made headlines throughout the area decades ago. And now he's telling his story on the heels of an emotional mural dedication to his little sister. Natasha Brown has his journey of triumph over tragedy. This is home? Yes, this is well, turning into my home. Dante Haley has a brand new apartment and a new lease on life. This is my bedroom. It's small, but it's his, and it's a far cry from the horrific beginnings of his young life in Fairmount. At that time, I was being starved, tied up, left in the basement, me and my sister for months at a time. It was 1997. Dante was seven years old at the time, his sister Charnay just five. His recollection of the abuse they suffered at the hands of their drug-addicted mother are as vivid as yesterday. She would leave us in the basement for months at a time with no food, no nothing. After trying to survive on little or no food, Charnay starved to death in August 1997. Dante was left with her lifeless body and a directive from his mother. She told nobody said nothing. Nobody but not say nothing. She broke the light to the basement and told me to drag her body to the back under a water heater. Police later found the child's body and Dante was immediately placed in foster care. A loving family raised him. His mother was arrested and is now serving a 28 to 56 year prison sentence. I still love her. I forgave her for everything that she did. I still my mom in that day. After turning to the streets and spending some time in jail for robbery and drug dealing, Dante, who's about to turn 30, now has a renewed zest for life. I'm the sign of hope. A new vibrant mural graces the side of this building in Fairmount, honoring the memory of his sister Charnay, a colorful tribute to replace some of the darkest days of their young lives. I'm at a new chapter in my life. Everything right now for me is going up, you know what I'm saying? And it's a good thing, you know what I'm saying? This is what I wanted from, from the start. Well, we're so happy for him that he is really starting a new chapter in his life. Dante is sharing his story now, hoping to inspire others that there is life after unimaginable tragedy. The official dedication for the newly created mural there at 30th and Harper Street will take place on October 22nd in honor of his little sister, Charnay. Isn't so we're so funny? happy to see him doing yeah. so well. He's got his own apartment now, and he's really, really excited about it. he said life. he forgave her. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's yeah. Oh Thank, you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much.